Dental Sound Bites bonus content. Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Effie Oanidu. And I'm Dr. Wright. Welcome back to another bonus episode of Dental Sound Bites. We're having a conversation about change with Jason Pfeiffer. Thanks for having me. Let's give the tips for success to our listeners. Yeah, everybody goes through change in the same four phases. They really do. Doesn't matter how experienced you are. And those phases are panic, adaptation, new normal, wouldn't go back. <laughs> panic, you don't you have no idea what's going on. Everything feels like it's falling apart. Adaptation, you start to look around and you say, well, what new things do I have to work with? New normal, you start to build some new comforts, some new familiarities, wouldn't go back. You reach that point where you say, I have something so new and valuable that I wouldn't want to go back to the time before I had that. Available to everybody. It is just simply the natural way in which we experience change. And the most important thing that we can do is recognize that wouldn't go back is the thing that's waiting for us at the end of it. And once you know that, you can move through the other phases a little faster. That panic doesn't feel as panicky. That adaptation feels more exciting. That new normal isn't just uh, like, you know, that you ran under a roof in a rainstorm, but it's just, you know, you're on the path towards figuring out the next thing. And then once you get there to wouldn't go back, get ready because you're not there the rest of your career. The whole thing's going to happen all over again. But when it happens next time, if you're conscious about this, you can say, ah, I know what happened last time, and therefore I know what's going to happen this time. And that leaves me more open-minded to the possibilities. And that's really the best we can do. This is a great advice. And I think, you know, if you think about this, as you were talking, I was trying to think about stories in my life and experiences. And I feel like, you know, it's kind of a primitive reaction. I'll explain why I say that. 15 years ago, I had to move from Connecticut to Seattle for the entire summer for a sabbatical. My daughters were very young. So we moved from one daycare to another daycare in Seattle, right? I remember my one-year-old, the first week, was crying every day for eight hours from the drop-off to the pickup. At the end of the week, she lost her voice. So that weekend I said, Okay, I'm going to use Monday as a test. If she cries again, then we're going back. I drop her off on Monday. Nothing happened. She was happy and jumpy and interacting with the people. Like, as you said, the panic and then the adaptation. And then, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I won't go back. They went back. But it's interesting. And it's, you know, it's something that you, maybe you, you know, we are born with and then we forget it. Yeah. We are. Look, we're the we're the products of change, aren't we? I mean, we're we are literally every, you, the three of us here, but everybody who's listening, we are literally the argument for the value of change. Absolutely. You, uh, me, the things that we do and the way in which we operate. People, uh, you know, a generation prior from us. They said, ah, these new ways of doing things, terrible, terrible, terrible. No, it was much better before. But, you know, we we picked up where we picked up. We started wherever we started. We uh, The things that were scary to a previous generation became commonplace to us. And as a result, we defined value in a way that was different from a previous generation and it all turned out okay. And so the thing we cannot do is catch is, is find ourselves in a situation where we think that only the way that we did things, the only way the way that we learned how to do things is the right way. It's not. It's not. There's no one right way. There's infinite right ways. And our jobs, our jobs are to participate in the creation of right ways. Absolutely. Very wise. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much for being here with us. And remember, if you like this episode, share it with a friend. Then be sure to subscribe to this podcast wherever you are listening so that you can get the latest episodes. You can also rate it, write a review, and follow us on social media. Dental Soundbites is an American Dental Association podcast. Learn more at ada.org slash podcasts.